My name is Lonnie Parker. I uh, am the branch chief for the Collaborative Autonomy Branch within the Robotics and Autonomous Systems Division within ATAS, the Aerospace Transportation and Advanced Systems Laboratory at GTRI. I have known uh, about GTRI's work probably for the last probably 10, 15 years uh, since I was a grad student here at Georgia Tech and um, I knew the work was interesting but it wasn't until I got to actually work here that I started finding out exactly how cool some of the stuff that I would have a chance to work on was. I found it extremely rewarding to be able to jump right into an organization that has uh, you know, the years and years of infrastructure in place to make that same kind of cool work possible and um, there's just, there's not the same amount of red tape uh, that I think other organizations are bound to, especially working um, as a, uh, a government agency, a state government agency. It makes, uh, I think, uh, it even greater to work for GTRI uh, than maybe a, a private company that's focused primarily on the bottom line and whether or not their product is gonna make money. Uh, this is about service and making progress at the same time, which you know really is the core of uh, Georgia Tech as a whole. Um, so that's why I've, I've found it valuable because you have so much flexibility and there's such a variety of projects. Um, there's just so much opportunity to do some really cool things and uh, do them within uh, almost within your own uh, your own schedule. I really like uh, the specific group that I'm. Uh, I'm in and the work that we have to do. Uh, I love uh, applied robotics. Uh, that's what a lot of my education has been in, uh, especially since graduate school. And so the, uh, the opportunity to go from um, theoretical concepts to actually applying those concepts to real physical systems in the real world uh, beyond a pre-planned uh, lab environment is really cool to me. Uh, it, it really shows where some of the theory breaks down and uh, actual engineering practices have to kind of step in to fill in the gap and shows um, how there's always adjustments that have to be made in the field uh, while you're fielding these actual physical systems. I'm biased, but I have not woken up one day yet and not been excited to work here. 